Hoping tonight he thought he was going to die. A FedEx driver held up today at gunpoint says he's calling it quits. CBS 2's Roseanne Tay is live in Chatham with more on this story. Roseanne. Well, Rob, there have been several incidents in recent weeks. Delivery drivers and other workers robbed at gunpoint on the job. Still, the driver held up today said he never thought it would happen to him. And as I was getting in. This FedEx driver says he had just delivered a package at 80th and Langley when a young man appeared at his delivery truck. He came over and he pointed the gun right at me and then told me to get in. And I went to the back and that's when he hopped in. He got in the passenger side seat. He says the gunman who looked young and nervous told him to drive into the alley. And like I said, I was very hesitant about turning into the alley. Why? And, uh, because I knew he was going to shoot me once we got into the alley. After giving up his debit card and cell phone, he was asked to start opening up the packages in the back of the truck. And I kind of had my hand on the handle and uh, it just took off. Okay. You went out the back door. Out the back door. He says he ran for his life. To help find the gunman, community activists canvassed the neighborhood this evening, handing out flyers looking for information that might help. We're working with this community to highlight it, not only in this community, but across the city. Because this is nothing new, it's just that it's the Christmas season and it, it's been increased. A FedEx driver for six years now, Charles says he never worried about being held up, but after today, he has had enough. He had his hand on the trigger. It seemed like he was just going to shoot me at any at any moment. Now, reached this afternoon, FedEx told us employee safety is a priority. In a statement, they said, we are grateful that the employee involved in the incident was unharmed and we are cooperating with the police. But Charles says after this terrifying experience today, he just doesn't think he can return to the job. Live in Chatham tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Well, well, thank goodness he's okay. That's first and foremost, Roseanne. But he obviously you, okay. did, you did the interview with him in his vehicle, so his vehicle wasn't taken. Any of the, uh, any of the packages taken that you're aware of? No, the packages were not taken. He says he, he feels like when he started running, this gunman who he described as young and nervous took off running himself, probably fearing that he was uh, going to alert authorities, I'm sure. Oh, such a frightening situation. Thank you, Roseanne.